Good morning, my dear children. I am Deepa Thomas, your zoology teacher. A warm welcome to our first section of zoology online class. And uh, let me tell one thing. Uh, you know that our country is facing a worst situation. So you have it to sit in your house itself. Uh, don't want to hear and there. Uh, should be very careful. Be alert and be safe. Okay. And uh, let us start our first session of zoology online class. Uh, uh, first chapter that is a cell the unit of life cell the unit of life actually this is not a uh, first chapter this is an eighth chapter uh, but uh, i have selected this chapter because uh, this is very important chapter the same time it's a basic thing hmm? in biology we have it to study from the basic onwards that's why i have selected this chapter okay and uh, the chapter name is cell the unit of life cell the unit of life cell the unit of life and uh, you know that what is cell what is cell cell can you draw a cell a simple cell hmm? cell this is a simple cell this uh, structure you have learned in the seventh standard and the simple uh, structure if you are drawing a single uh, cell this is a single cell okay cell and the cell the boundary is present there that is known as a cell membrane cell membrane okay outer covering that is known as cell membrane and the centrally placed spherical structure is present there that is known as a nucleus what is that a nucleus a nucleus and then jelly like substances present inside the cell that is known as a cyto plasm what is that a cytoplasm once again I tell this is a single uh, structure of a single cell uh, cell contain a boundary that boundary that means the cell membrane is present outer covering that is known as a cell membrane and a, uh, and a centrally located uh, structure that is a spherical structure is present that is known as nucleus and then a jelly like a substance present inside the cell that is known as a cytoplasm this is a simple structure of a cell and you know that and then what is cell cell is a structural and a functional unit of living organism cell is the structural and a functional unit of living organism cell is the structural and a functional unit of living organism and then if you are considering an organism maybe the organisms are mainly divided into two types it means uh, an organism is made up of only one type of cell or an organism is made up of only one cell that is known as a unicellular organism unicellular organism an organism is made up of only one cell that is known as unicellular organism example you know that example amoeba paramecium uh, plasmodium amoeba you know that hmm? amoeba can capture the food material with the help of pseudopodia seventh standard and then the hmm, paramecium slipper animal cule paramecium hmm? and plasmodium these are the example of a unicellular organism and then an organism is made up of more than one cell that is known as multicellular organism multicellular organism example is common example human and frog fish uh, bird whatever it is that is known as a multicellular organism multicellular organism okay okay next and who coined do you know who coined the term cell uh, i think you don't know that is a robert hook coined the term cell first uh, the term cell is coined by robert hook hmm? he was working with a cork tissue he found that uh, with, a, with the help of a self dis, uh, self designed microscope he found that uh, inside the cork tissue there is a room like a structure boxes like a structures are present at simply he called uh, that is a uh, cell so robert hook coined the term cell in 1665 okay and then Anton van Leeuwenhoek, who is that? Anton van Leeuwenhoek. In 1674, he first observed the living cell. Anton van Leeuwenhoek first observed the living cell. And he first observed the living cell, that is a spirogera. The spirogera, you know that, that is an alga. Okay, spirogera, spirogera, it's an alga. Anton van Leeuwenhoek first observed or first examined the first living cell, that is known as spirogera or a uh, spirogera, it's an alga. And then he observed the bacterium and... Uh, uh, he is a microbiologist, okay. And Robert Hooker first coined the term cell, and Adam Van Leeuwenhoek first observed the living cell. 
got it and the cell is a structural and a functional unit of living organism and uh, the um, based on the number of cell the organisms are mainly divided into two unicellular and multicellular and then uh, the first robert hooke first coined the term cell and then and then one leuven hooke and then one leuven hooke he first examined the living uh, first examined the living uh, cell okay before that uh, i want to ask one thing uh, what is cell biology have you heard about the term cell biology cell biology is the branch of science which deals with the structural and functional organization of uh, living cells organization of cells cell biology is the uh, uh, the branch of science which deals with the structural and functional organizations of cells okay cell biology you should know about that uh, what is cell biology okay and then uh, you know that uh, cell the first uh, term cell is coined by uh, robert hooke and then and then one leuven hooke he first observed the first living cell that is a spirogera it's an alga and uh, and then one leuven hooke he just invented the microscope okay and then uh, hmm, next uh, matthias schleden uh, matthias schleden is it clear i don't know uh, matthias schleden matthias schleden in 1838 he is a uh, he is a uh, german botanist matthias schleden he just uh, examined a lot of plants he examined a lot of plants and he observed that the plant is also made up of cell who is that matthias schleden m schleden in 1838 is a german botanist he just observed that he examined a lot of plants he observed that that plants are made up of uh, cell and then theodor schwann theodor schwann theodor schwann t schwann in 1839 theodor schwann uh, just worked with uh, he also observed a uh, lot of animals he worked with a lot of uh, animals he observed that uh, animals are also made up of cell and also he mentioned that uh, the cell also has a boundary that boundary is simply called that is a plasma membrane plasma membrane okay cell membrane that is a plasma membrane theodor schwann these two scientists that means Matthias Schleden and Theodor Schan together they uh, they formulated a theory that is a cell theory what is that a cell theory but but, but uh, what one particular point they didn't mention there they didn't explain there huh? okay Matthias Schleden and Theodor Schan together they formulated a theory that theory is known as a cell theory or cell doctrine Okay, Matthias Schleden, they worked a lot of plants in 1838 and Theodor Schan in 1839, he worked with a lot of animals. Uh, he observed that uh, the animals, uh, animal also made up of a cell and it also, um, that the cell also has a outer boundary, outer covering or outer boundary is present there. He called that is a plasma membrane. Okay, plasma membrane. Robert Hooke, Anton van Leeuwen Hooke, Matthias Schleden, Theodor Schwann. Theodor Schwann. Is it clear? Later, in 1855, Rudolf Virchow, another scientist, Rudolf Virchow, he simply given another definition. He added uh, another point to this uh, cell theory. Mm? That means uh, uh, a new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell. A new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell. A new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell. Omnicellule e cellule. Eh? That's a Latin word. Omnicellule e cellule. Okay. Uh, Rudolf Virchow added another point. A new cell is formed from a pre-existing cell. That means uh, these two scientists, you know that uh, Matthias Schleden and uh, Theodor Schan together they coined cell theory but they didn't explain how the new cell is formed there. Mm? They didn't explain that. They couldn't explain. That's why Rudolf Virchow in 1855, they, he explained that. Uh, he explained how a new cell is formed. How, how a new cell is forming. Uh, that means uh, a new cell is formed from a pre-existing cell. Okay. Is, is it clear? I think uh, it's clear. Okay, next uh, the postulates of cell theory. Hmm? You know that Matthias Schleden and Theodor Schan together they uh, they formulated a theory. The theory is known as a cell theory or cell doctrine. And then uh, uh, that is in 1839. Later in 1855, Rudolf Virchow added another point to that. That means uh, they couldn't explain uh, they couldn't explain how the new cells are formed. So the Rudolf Virchow added the, that postulates also. That that means uh, the new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell. Okay, so three points are uh, included in this postulates of cell theory the first point is that all cell all living organism are made up of cell all living organisms are made up of cell and cell product all living organisms are made up of cell and a cell product and the next one is a uh, 
another point you know that a new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell a new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell next what are the first point uh, all living organism are made up of cell and the cell product and the next one is the new cell is formed from the pre-existing cell and then uh, the cell is a structural or basic organization unit of life a basic structure is a cell is a structural and functional unit of living organism like that uh, the cell is the basic organization unit of life these are the three main postulates of cell theory cell theory or cell doctrine okay and uh, I should tell other things so that means uh, which one is the largest cell? Which one is the largest cell? Do you know that? I think you know that uh, ostrich egg. Hmm? Ostrich egg that is the um, largest egg. And the next one uh, in the case of if you are taking in the case of the human body, which one is the largest cell in the case of human body? Largest cell that is a human ovum, that is a female ovum, that is a largest cell, and the smallest cell that is a male gamete, that means a sperm. Sperm is a uh, smallest, smallest cell, and the next one, which one is the longest cell? Longest cell, neuron is the longest cell, neuron is the longest cell, largest cell in the case of human, that is a largest cell, that is a human ovum, that means a female ovum, and the smallest cell, sperm, that is a male gamete. And and uh, you know that which one is the largest, commonly if you are asking which one is the largest cell, that is a ostrich egg. Ostrich egg, that is the largest cell. These are the main introduction topics of, uh, topics of cell, the unit of life. And then we have to um, study more details, that means the cell organelles. Each, each point we have to study, but uh, this is the main content, main, uh, main introductive portions. Okay, I think, I hope... Uh, um, uh, you can follow me I think like so uh, if you have any doubt you can ask through the whatsapp uh, you can ask through whatsapp um, this much only okay be safe be alert thank you so much thank you my dear children